annual Aloha Bowl Classic. Today, it's the defending Aloha Bowl champion, Washington Huskies, taking on the defending national champion, Penn State Nittany Lions. This game comes to you live from Aloha Stadium in Honolulu, Hawaii. Joe, you're a little bit out of breath, so just relax a second. Okay, on for that. I think the referee knew that you were going to be a few seconds arriving, so he held it up just a little bit. The deep man as Gansatano prepares to kick off. Number 15 for Washington. Lonzel Hill to his right. Number 25, Cookie Jackson, one of their talented tailbacks. So wherever you are, almost literally anywhere in the world, Welcome to the second annual Aloha Bowl. Delighted you're with us. We're looking forward to a fine football game. Jackson juggles it out of bounds inside the five. Steve Floor, of course, the All-Pac-10 quarterback, an excellent passer, 67%. All-Pac-10 second team, Hines. Finney starting his first game at fullback. He's only a freshman. Dave Stransky, fine, fine receiver. Deep threat, Danny Green. Stransky is wide to the left. Starting fullback is Finney. Hines, with sprinter speed, has the ball. And just like that, a first down for the Huskies. As we look at the rest of this starting offensive lineup for the Huskies. That's Tony Roten. He's a junior. Maher, the left tackle. Mallory, the left guard. And Mallory's all packed 10. Dan Ernisi is the center. Ted Brosey, the right guard. And big Lance Dotson, 280 pounds at right tackle. A first down on the first running play from the Washington 15. Pelour, fake, being rushed. This is a screen. This is Hines with the ball. Another first down. Drag down to 10 Washington from the Husky 25. Finney, the fullback, gets about four yards between four and five on first down. Rick Finney is a 6'3 freshman as we look at some of the Nittany Lion defenders. Greg Gattuso, 260 pounds. Bob White, number 34, almost picked that off. Steve Sefter, the other end on the left side. An outstanding array of linebackers led by Scott Radicic as you see him right there. For Washington, second down, a bit more than five from the Husky 30. This is Hines in motion. Penalty flag down. We may have illegal motion as the freshman Rick Finney starting in place of Walt Hunt, who will not play today. The junior fullback will nullify a five-yard game. Maybe the weakest part of the line defense is their, their defensive backs, except for Sittner is at the one corner, and Lance Hamilton, the brother of Harry, is at the other corner. Second down, 11. Hines and Gattuso makes the big play behind the line. Third and 13 from the Washington 22. Just underway from Honolulu and no score. Stransky went in motion. The lure to run. And he's short of a first down at the 32 yard line. And boy, do they have fellas who can return the football. At the Penn State 32 yard line, Kenny Jackson. He is not only one of the leading receivers in collegiate football. Doug Strang at quarterback. John Williams and E.J. Dozier, the running backs, from the Penn State 44. And here goes Williams. For about eight yards on the first play. A little delay. With Dozier came along, got his shot when Williams got hurt. And now D.J. Dozier. There you see the first freshman ever to gain 1,000 yards, ever to start at Penn State. Kenny Jackson, outstanding flanker. You see plenty of him. Kevin Bowden. Gain of about eight yards. Second down, two. There's Dozier. And a first down for Penn State at the Washington 41-yard line. Dean Dominio, good tight end. Tight He's their deep threat act as a tight end, which is surprising. Heller, Moles on the left side. The center, Nick Hayden, 250 pounds. Jeff Woofter, a junior. And their best offensive lineman stands short. 6'4", 251, the right tackle. First and 10, Penn State at the Washington 41-yard line. No score. Strang looking. This is Dozier. And he picks up six yards. Now you talk about Washington defensively. There's Holmes, their best defender on the line. Liv Matson, the nose guard, Dean Browning at right tackle. They have very good linebackers as well. Strong linebacker, Stuart Hill. Fred Small, 
the outside left backer, Tim Meamber. Second and four, Washington 35 for Penn State. Williams. Oh, good defensive effort by, among others, Stuart Hill, one of the linebackers. You're looking at the defensive backs, Vince Albright and all Pac-10 second team, and Scott Garnett has checked in in place of a linebacker. He's a big defensive lineman from Washington. Dozier, and he has a first down at the 30. Dozier went in motion. Pass incomplete, 9.32 to play first quarter, and no score. Strang, here's Williams. And a super defensive play. Williams comes in as a fifth defensive back on third and ten. Strang, flag down. Strang has a first down, but remember a penalty flag down. See what the foul is about. A personal foul against Washington. This foul is to the right. Dozier is in a slot to the right. This is for Jackson. Very good coverage, and Kevin Bow is out to the left. Second and goal, Jackson in motion. Single coverage again, Ray. Dozier. Boy, was he straightened up at the line of scrimmage. Dozier in a slot right. John Williams, a lone setback. Kevin Bow, the intended receiver, but this will be a 24-yard attempt. And Penn State is on the board first in the second annual Aloha Bowl. Midway in the second quarter, the score, Penn State three, Washington nothing. Good kick. Cookie Jackson will run it out. Five, ten to the 20. Awarded in the name of today's MVP to the university's general scholarship fund. Joe and I will be selecting that Kelly Springfield most valuable player. That was tight end Tony Root. Number 19, Patterson was in motion. This is Hines. To the 26 and a half yards. Danny Green wide to one side. Mark Patterson wide to the other. Third and about three for a first down. Bloor still has it. And he's very close to a first down. And Penn State leading 3 0. 544 left to play. First quarter. From the eye formation. Here comes Sterling Hines, the blocker. And he's driven back by Scott Radisek, who made a very good hit. But second down and four. Two tight ends. Valour. Valour under great pressure. Third down, four and a half for a first down from the Washington 35. Addison in motion. This is Patterson. And it appears he has enough yardage for a first down. And Penn State appears a bit confused now defensively. They were trying to wave their various players around. This is Cookie Jackson. The pass is ruled incomplete. Second and 10 Washington, their own 40-yard line. Cookie Jackson is the setback. And there goes Jackson. Oh, he can go. Picked up about eight yards. Third and two at the Washington 48. Patterson in motion. This is Jackson. And he has a first down at the Penn State 49-yard line. This is Danny Green. Danny Green out wide to the right. Second down, eight Washington, Penn State 47. Ballour getting some pressure. Short gain. Jock Robinson is in a slot to the left. His first appearance. Straight ahead and apparently about a half yard shy of a... Big play. And Robinson, I don't think, made it. And the Nittany Lions won that battle. Kenny Jackson comes in motion. Strang, play action fake. This is a big tight end out to 
the 48-yard line. That was Kirk Bowman, second down three at the Penn State 47. We're down to the final minute of the first quarter from Honolulu. Dozier, oh, nowhere to go. Wide receiver set out either side. Here comes the blitz. Scott Garnett. That's the end of the first quarter with the score. Penn State 3, Washington nothing. We'll be back after this. And Lunzel Hill with green deep. And kicking into a cross oh, wind. What, a, win. what a kick. Oh, my goodness. Wow. He kicked. Patterson to the right, Stransky to the left. Ballure with one setback and two tight ends from the Washington 20. And this is Robinson. The freshman sensation. Robinson again. And he's wrestled down. Now both Patterson and Stransky are wide left on third and two. But, whoa, hit behind the line on a super play. Aloha Stadium. Sunset to our left. It's beautiful. Cleland to punt. Kevin Bow at the Penn State 31. He is a very dangerous returner. And he has it to the Washington 49-yard line. Jackson to the left and Bow to the right. A fake. This is for Jackson. Kenny Jackson had his man beat. The There's a little delay. Flag down. And a big game by Skeeter Nichols, but a flag is down as... It's a motion penalty against the Nittany Lions. Second down, 15 from the Penn State 46. This is a big tight end, Domidio, out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Down in seven, 46-yard line of Washington. Penn State leading 3-0, flag down. That pass. That, Illegal shift. that would be Paul Sakura. Well, what a on a Gansatano field goal, but we had a whistle just before the snap from a field goal. So Penn State now. Danny Green. And a flag is thrown. Now, I don't know whether we saw a fair catch signal or not. It's going to be on the Nittany Lions if I read that correctly. Yep. And first and 10 Washington from the Husky 32. Woo! He put a beautiful move on Markable Athlete. Meanwhile, up the middle for about five yards. Second down, four and a half. Pelour off target per game, and they're trying to put the pressure on Pelour so he can't throw. Third, four and a half. Then he went in motion. except for that one Penn State drive that wound up in a field goal. Woo, Cleland's punt. Boy, we've had some fine, <laughs> fine punting. D.J. Dozier is the tailback. Whoop! Down goes Strang. Jackson in motion. And Dozier has nowhere to go. It's a loss of another yard, and now it's third and 19 at the Penn State 11. There are two all Pac-10 defenders on that line for Washington. That's why they're so tough. Kevin Bow could not hold on. He would have been short of a first down, says right now. Yeah, I know. I recognize him. Good punt. Danny Green at the Washington 44. Look out. Some 60 yards, 56 to be exact, and Washington takes the lead. Ray, you said that that'll be the best field position Washington has had. You were right. At point number seven, and just like that, we have a big play. Danny Green breaks one for 56. 
Okay. Score now is Washington 7, Penn State 3, and we'll be back after this. the tight end is on the right side. Here comes Dozier. Slowed up by Holmes. Second down nine, Penn State 21. For Jackson. And that one hung up in the air long enough. It's his third and nine at the Penn State 21 yard line. Complete. Not too much height, and the whistle blew just before the ball was snapped. 45 yard line. Now that was in literally no man's hurry. Now you got to go play game. He really got his leg into this one. Danny Green at the Washington 34. There he goes again. But there's going to be clipping yeah, on this play. A lot of clipping. A Penn State player is down at right there on number 38. See, man has his helmet behind on the block. Can't do that. You got to keep your head in front of the man when you're blocking him. Doing the run back. Now, the lure, big hole, and hit down quickly. Sterling Hines, the tailback, Annie Green, injured on his last punt return, has not returned to the game. Lure still has the ball. of his fullback, Rick Finney. Third down, eight. Galore, three-man rush. Very close to a first down. Hines, 22, the tailback. Finney, number 30, the fullback. Galore on first down. A little bit too short. Second down and 10, Husky 32. by the ankle and that slot formation right. Penny in motion. And we have a flag. Penn State. No, nope, illegal procedure. But 540 left to play in the first half. 7-3 Washington. Almost almost picked off. Pass is incomplete. Two, Bow is number eight. Whoa, almost got away. They want to keep it away from Bow, but they kick it right to him. He's their most dangerous returner. Bow runs a lot of yardage and gets absolutely nowhere. The Penn State likes to run the ball. Dozier's really been shut down today. Here comes Williams. He actually tripped over Kevin Bow after getting eight yards. Second down and two at the Penn State 36. Here comes Williams again. And Penn State has not been able, Washington leading 7-3, late in the first half. Williams, he does not get a first down. He gets about a yard. And then is Michael Collins. Oh, what a punt. Collins is inside the 15. He's back at the nine. And a fine tackle way back at the Washington 12-yard line. Pelour and company go to work. Here is Cookie Jackson. Out across the 20-yard line, second and one. And the first down is picked up out to the 25-yard line. He may not play the rest of the first half. Jackson and no. Actually, a loss of a yard. It's second down, 11. Allure. This is Jackson. Boy, did he make a beautiful move. Addison in motion. A great catch by Patterson. ridden down by Mike Zordich to free safety. Almost broken for the score. Penn State knew it was coming. 
And that was a stop the clock, throw it away with 54 seconds. Now second and 10 at the Penn State 22-yard line. Nobody there. It will be third and 10. Third and 10. Big hit by Sidner. It will be a 39-yard attempt with 41 seconds left in the half. It has the distance. Good. The Huskies, dominating the game, have stretched their lead. This one might be returnable. Dozier at the goal line. three-yard line with 28 seconds left in the half. He Dozier in a slot right. This is Williams. He gets about four yards. Both wide receivers will draw double coverage. Off the left hand of Kevin Bow with now eight seconds left. Draw all sorts of attention. for a first down at the 43-yard line, but the clock tells us we have reached the end of the first half. The score, Washington Huskies 10, Penn State's Nittany Lions 3. We'll be back after this. Here prepares to kick off. This will be John Williams at the goal line. Strang the quarterback, Williams the fullback, Dozier the tailback. Williams gets about three, second down seven from the Penn State 12. Here's Dozier, gets to the 15 for three very tough yards and Penn State third and five from the Lion 15. Fake to Dozier. Tight end, Demidio, for a first down at the Penn State 25. -year. Second half just underway. Washington leading 10 to 3. Dozier. And he fights for pretty good yardage this time. From Williams to the 34. It will be third and two, just beyond the Penn State 34. complete to Kevin Bow. First down, Penn State 44-yard line. Back-to-back first downs by Penn State. Kenny Jackson is the man on the move. Waiting and holding his ground was Lynn Madsen. Again, second down, 10, Penn State 44. some pressure. 10-3, Washington leading. Right through the hands of Kenny Jackson and an interception by Tim Meamber. Not exactly the immaculate reception, but very close to it. Now watch the play right here. Right through his hands, off the head of number six, All Britain, and into the hands of Meamber. Meanwhile, we're back live, and here's Pelour throwing on the run, and the pass is complete to his big tight end, Tony Roten. First and 10, Washington. Hines in motion. Finney squeezes for about four yards, and it'll be second down and six. Second and six. Hines, and a fine play by number 31, Shane Conlon. A big third and six for Washington. It was juggled and not held 10 to 3. Yeah, they dropped four people back. They're going to try and return it. Uh-oh. Into the end zone. It is first and 10, Penn State, at the Penn State 20. Dozier. 
three yards. Fifth defensive back checks in for Washington. Second and seven. Demidio has it. Strang is a good runner. And he's out at the 39-yard line for eight yards. Now, we have two number 20s on the Penn State roster. I think this is Emerson in at the tailback, not the pass, but they both have those numbers. This is John Williams for a first down at the Penn State 44 in this second annual Aloha Bowl. Tight end Bowman on the right side on second and nine at the 50. And Browning has Strang. Six minutes to play third quarter. 10-3 Washington. A third and 18. Way short of a first down at the 41-yard line is Hollins deep. This is Hill, dropped at the 25-yard line. To the air. This time we have a wing back on the left. Now Jackson, Cookie Jackson, shifts to the deep spot, the tailback spot. Second and 10, and here goes Jackson. He has a first down, or very close to it, across the 35. Five minutes to play, third quarter. On first down, Galore with a lot of room. First down, 49-yard line. This is a first and 10 play, and to the air on first down. Short gain on a pass complete to be Roy Lutu. The second down, six at the Penn State 47. Just a yard or so to Steve Fleur, 14 of 25. The pass is dropped by a wide open Leroy Lutu. Another high snap. Oh, what a punt. Beautiful punt. What do they feed him? My goodness. Limited to just an early field goal in this game. First down. Now they're back to the I formation. This is for Bow. He has us out of bounds. Second and ten from the Penn State 30. Dozier gets only three yards. Third and seven. Kevin Bow. Great catch. And it's going to be ruled incomplete, Ray. Crossed the way, said he trapped the ball. You can't see it from here. It looks like he might have caught it just off the top of the grass. 2.22 to play third quarter. Washington leading 10-3. Big rush. Oh, they almost got it. But a fine punt inside the 20. And Penn State really covered that punt back at the 15-yard line. Mike Russo, a freshman, Valour on first down. He's throwing for Patterson. In tremendous domination, which I think was unexpected in the running department. This is Jacques Robinson getting only a yard or so. This is a third down and eight. to Skransky at the 31-yard line in the third quarter. Hill is wide to the left. New wide receiver, first and 10 play. Here's Jacques Robinson, and he's nailed behind the line by that freshman, Don Graham, Washington leading Penn State 10 to three. Skransky, three-man rush, a lot of time. Pass complete to Patterson, no gain. A third and 12, there was a, no gain on the last play. through the hands of 
of the intended receiver. That was a very good acting job by Cleveland that time, but Jackson to the right and Bow to the left. Here's a reverse to Jackson. He has blockers. inside the 35 to the 34 yard line and that's the end of the third quarter of the score Washington 10 Penn State 3 we'll be back after this Penn State first and 10 Washington 34 yard line as we start the fourth quarter Strang being rushed and pass incomplete they're going to throw a flag down and scrimmage was the 34 yard line there was an eligible receiver in the area. Second down 10, it was merely an incomplete pass. Will there be another blitz? A little draw, Mrs. Williams getting to about the 30-yard line. We're both drawing double coverage now. Third and six. Tight end, Demidio holds on to the ball at the 22-yard line. First and 10, Penn State. Jackson in motion. Dozier leans for two yards. Second and eight, Penn State at the Washington 20. Here comes the pressure. Penalty flag. Disregard the flag. Jackson to the left. Down he goes. A 49 and a half yard field goal. He has a long of 45. It appears to have the distance. It's good. So Penn State has its second field goal. That changes the score to 10 6. The Huskies leading up and crew to this beautiful island of Hawaii for this classic bowl game. The kick in the direction of Jackson, and he will not run it out. First and 10 from the Husky 20. Down by Sidner, the freshman, Finney, is the fullback. Addison in motion. Finney goes to a first down. Referee. Sidner, foul. Offense. It's now first and 25. There's the difference. The quarterbacks double the passing yardage and a bit more for Washington. Tight end, it's still limping Danny Green. Finney in motion. And Valour is dropped behind the line by Gattuso. And the Huskies at the 12, the 13. Third and 27. Didn't pick up any first down, but going to kick it to the end zone if he can. I know he can't, but boy, I'd hate to be kicking off to these fellas. Kevin Bow, Penn State 35 now, 40, 50. He's at the Washington 46-yard line on a fine return. First and 10 for the Nittany Lions. Fake to Dozier. Screen pass. It's Tim Robinson in the general area, but third and ten. Will there be a blitz? Yes. A hurried Doug Strang. It's down at the five. Good gain on first down. We're averaging almost 371 a game. Here's the fullback. Dragged down at the 13 and a critical third and three. Here is Jackson and he is very close to a first down. They were leading 10-3 at the half. Here's Finney. And the 
Will Palur go to the air? Yes. Through the hands of Finney, third down, eight. Patterson in motion. Short of a first down, considerably. Good height, Kevin Bow. Penn State 38. There goes Jackson. And he has it around the Penn State 48 yards. A punt return, 56 yards by Green, put Washington ahead. Dozier went in motion. And this is Dozier with the ball. He's down to the 42-yard line. Just over six minutes left, second and one, Washington 42. Williams, first down at the 38-yard line of Washington. First and 10, Penn State at the Washington 38. Oh, great defense. State at the Washington 38. Here goes Williams but not very far to the 36-yard line. And now Bow and Jackson are to the right. A third down and eight. Penn State trailing 10-6. This is Strang, and he has a first down at the 24-yard line. Clock running less than five minutes to play. 10-6 Washington. Slot left is Dozier. This is Williams. He's down to the 20-yard line where it will be third and six. The ball just short of the Washington 20 with 3.50 left in the game. The clock running. 10-6, Washington. What a great finish to a great ball game. This is Kevin Bow to the four-yard line. It's first and goal. This is the power eye. Whoop. You can't see why well, you can't even see him. He's on the other side of the center, the guard. And Garnett just puts him on his wallet. Enforcement defense. It is against Garnett and the defense. Two tight ends as well. Two tight ends. Dozier, touchdown. Penn State takes the lead for the second time today. Exactly three minutes show on the clock at the Aloha Bowl. Penn State leads by three, and the contingent who traveled here from Pennsylvania lets out a mighty roar from across the way that we'll have more great football action live from Hawaii right after this. Cookie Jackson and Lonzel Hill are back for Gansitano's kickoff. This will not be run out. Gansitano does a good job again. It will start with a slot formation with Finney in the slot, and Jock Robinson is the running back. Patterson to the 24-yard line. We're 235 left to play. Here comes the pressure. Hamilton that time. This is a third and six. A lot of time. This is Robinson. And he's short of a first down. He ran out of bounds at the 27-yard line. Doesn't look like a flag, but I guess it is. Ooh, a penalty against Penn State. After some questioning by head coach Joe Paterno. Patterson in motion. State defender and Lonzel Hill, number 15, is wide right. Second and ten. Here comes the pressure. The pass. Good protection. Almost intercepted by Sindner. To the right is Stransky.
football. This is Skeeter Nichols protecting the ball. It was his pass reception that set up the Penn State go-ahead touchdown. Dozier to the 29 and a fumble, but a fumble occurred before the whistle blew. The ball was down. One minute and 32 seconds remaining in the game. Be fourth down, fourth and four. That's what I thought. Are they going to go for it? Dozier has the first down. Penn State, the clock running, less than a minute to play. This will be a delay of game. 6'3, 250, senior. Strang keeps the ball as the final seconds tick away. 51 seconds left. Now Strang knowing that Washington can take no more time out. And here is the last snap of the game. We're down now to the clock running. Ten seconds. The players from both teams are headed out onto the field. A very physical, very physical, very well played defensive battle is won by Penn State over the Huskies of Washington as Washington makes a return to the same stadium where they last year won the first Aloha Bowl by a single point over Maryland. And so we have reached the end of the game and the final score. Penn State University 13, Washington University 10. We'll be back with our final comments after this.